The 2018 Lincoln Navigator Select. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Lincoln in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to go over the standard as well as optional equipment that's available on that select trim of the 2018 Lincoln Navigator. Now, in 2018, the Navigator is all new, uh, new redesign, and a lot of features that are just uh, uh, great additions to the Lincoln Navigator lineup. So, we're going to cover all the standard equipment first. Then we're going to talk about different optional packages and standalone options that are available as well. So it's going to be a very thorough video. Check the uh, description down below. I'll have timestamps as well as prices on those different packages uh, down there. So you can check those out down there and skip around in the video if you need to. Now first let's talk about safety in this. Now this is one of the safer vehicles and Lincoln is really invested in your personal safety. And one of the things you're going to see for the driver and front passenger is a personal safety system that's going to protect you from front collisions and side collisions. It has dual stage front airbags. It's going to deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the steering wheel. Also it's going to have side, can or side airbags as well for that side impact. Those are side impact airbags is what they call them. Also, for those in the, uh, the third, second and third row, you're going to have the safety canopy airbag that's going to come down, deploy beside the vehicle in case of any kind of rollover. And it's going to come with the rollover uh, sensors as well to go along with that. Now, this does also have, for those in the back seat, it's going to have those uh, rear doors, uh, child safety locks for those, so that way they won't open those doors for you, so you can uh, lock those uh, doors up. Also, in the back, you're going to have that latch system that's that lower anchors and tethers for children that allows you to be able to take those car seats, anchor them to the seats, and we're going to show you something else in a little bit about how it's special about that second row seat as a class exclusive, but that helps you uh, keep those car seats down, and you don't have to take those car seats out of those uh, second row seats, as you'll find in just a little bit. Also, this is going to have advanced track with roll stability control, so it's going to help you keep you on your intended path and hopefully help you uh, with any kind of rollover situation uh, that might occur. Also, this is going to have SOS post-crash alert system. They're going to honk the horns, flash the lights if you happen to be off the road in an accident. And it's also going to get 911 assist. It's going to allow you to call 911 when you sync your phone to the Microsoft Sync technology uh, directly. So if you have an accident, you can easily be able to uh, tell the system to do that. And it's going to call 911 for you. So some great safety features throughout the vehicle. Uh, let's go ahead and get started and walk around starting at the front. Now as we move to the front, a couple things to, that are come standard on all your navigators. Uh, one of those is going to be your active grill shutters. Uh, active grill shutters are real nice here uh, inside the vehicle. It's going to open up those grill shutters when you're in the city, allowing airflow in to cool off that engine. But on the highway, it's going to close it up, helping you get as much fuel economy as you can on the highway, allowing that air to come around the vehicle uh, instead of into the engine and slowing it down. Also, you're going to get E-Pass, that electronic power assist steering. Uh, it's going to be a, a great steering that you're going to have. And what's great about that is it's going to make it a little bit easier to steer when you're in parking lots and uh, slower speeds, but when you get up on the highway, it's going to stiffen it up so that way that wind doesn't push you around from side to side. Also, this is going to, on the Select, uh, what's great about it is it gets adaptive suspension as well. So that's an upgrade when you go from the Premier to the Select is an adaptive suspension. So it's going to adapt the suspension, keeping constantly monitoring that and uh, giving you a great smooth ride in this vehicle. So I think you'll appreciate all three of those uh, things that uh, come with these vehicles. Also, the engine underneath is going to be a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine. And this engine is going to deliver 450 horsepower 500 foot pound of torque. So that is going to exceed all the other vehicles in its class in a way of performance. Uh, for fuel economy, it's about 16 in the city, about 23 miles per gallon on the highway. So uh, a great large SUV uh, engine and performance behind this. Also has your 10 speed automatic transmission with select shift. Also does have the paddle shift activation, which means if you want to go in that manual shift mode, you can use the paddle shifters behind the steering wheel to shift it up and down through those gears, uh, just like a manual transmission. So it's a great performing engine. I think you'll like on this. Now let's talk about the styling here on the front. Uh, all new for 2018, so you're going to see that satin chrome uh, repeating star emblem grill up here. Uh, real sharp. Brought that over from the Continental introduced that for Lincoln. Uh, and you're seeing that same grill here with the chrome accent that goes around that. Uh, a little bit wider on the Navigators, of course being a bigger vehicle. Love the nice chrome accent here on the Lincoln Star in the middle too. Body colored bumpers throughout. They have some chrome accents here on both sides underneath these fog lights. And for 2018, all LED exterior lights. So we have LED automatic headlights up here. LED signature lighting, 
and LED fog lights down here. So all LEDs here in the front as well as the back. So a uh, real nice look here. The automatic uh, headlights means they're going to come on automatically as it gets dark. Uh, seen that anymore on about any vehicle. Also, they are wiper activated. So if those wipers turn on, those headlights are going to come on as well. That's a, a nice safety feature for you. Uh, LED fog lights as well down here are going to be a lot brighter for you, especially in those uh, low light situations, fog, uh, even sometimes in the dark on those highways and everything. Also here, you're going to have the signature lighting underneath. What's uh, great about that is you're going to have that on as your daytime running lights. Looks real sharp when you're driving down the road. Not only is there one, but now there's two on the Lincoln Navigator. Uh, so it just looks real sharp as you're approaching vehicles. I think you'll like that. Front sensing system as well. It's going to be standard equipment on all your uh, Lincoln Navigator selects. So you're going to have the front sensing system uh, to go along with the back sensing, which we'll get to in just a little bit. So as you're pulling into driveways, parking lots, it's going to alert you and let you know about the, uh, how close you're getting to the different objects or people. Uh, also on this you're going to have 360 degree camera as standard equipment on your select trim. So you're going to have a camera on the front up here, you're also going to have a camera on the back and under each of these mirrors. So you're going to be able to see completely around the vehicle on the left side of that screen. On the right side is going to be your back or front camera. And then if you just uh, click that camera button you're going to be able to have that front or reverse uh, full screen access there to you. So uh, really nice. I love that that even on the select that's going to be standard equipment having that 360 degree camera. So really is that luxury experience and equipment as well. Now to finish off the front here we're going to talk about the Lincoln Embrace. The Lincoln Embrace is a great way to welcome you to the vehicle. It embraces you to the vehicle you should say. So when you have that key fob you get within about eight feet of the vehicle. It's going to use a series of LED lights to welcome you to the vehicle. And the first one you're going to see on the front is going to be those LED lights. Underneath those headlights are going to fade up. Also beside the vehicle on the navigators, the running boards are going to kick down and deploy down for you. Uh, that is going to be something that's standard equipment on your select. As you approach the vehicle from behind, you're going to see the LED tail light. The bottom part of that is going to light up for you there. And then beside the vehicle, you're going to have the Lincoln welcome mat. Again, just a great way to welcome you to the vehicle at night. Now as you move around to the side, you're going to see the standard wheels, a 22 inch dark tarnished aluminum wheel. So a great looking wheel, nice luxury finish to the wheel as well uh, and just a, a great coating to it. Just gives it that uh, nice upscaled luxury look to it. You're going to see the Lincoln Navigator nameplate here on the side. You saw that introduced in the Continental and they're going to roll that out on all the new uh, vehicles here. Uh, so I think you're really going to uh, like that. Gives it again a nice luxury uh, touch to the vehicle. Now on the, uh, the windshield up here, you do have rain sensing wipers as standard equipment. Uh, rain sensing wipers, uh, just like it sounds, if it senses it's, it's raining and you have it in one of those intermittent settings on your wiper there, it's going to go ahead and turn those wipers on and, and go ahead and wipe it. The harder it starts to rain, the faster they're going to wipe and then they'll slow down as well, depends on the temperature or the tempo of the rain itself. Also, windshield wiper de-icers is an upgrade from the Premier to the Select. So what's great about that is a lot of times in the, here in Kansas anyway, uh, when that windshield gets defrosted, those wipers still will freeze up because they'll get wet. Uh, the de-icers will help with that so that way they're going to still be functional in those situations. So I think you'll like uh, that uh, feature right there. Now the mirror has a lot of features to go along with it. One of them is a high gloss black finish here. A nice chrome accent as well in the middle, integrated into the LED turn signal light uh, as well. So that way it's going to, uh, people will know when you're wanting to turn. It's going to have those uh, blinking there for you. Also, you're going to have the power heated glass and it's going to have auto dimming driver side view mirror, which means it's going to automatically dim that mirror if those cars want to pass you with those bright lights. Uh, so that, that'll really help out too. And it's going to come with Bliss. Now standard equipment on all your selects is going to be that Bliss with cross traffic alert. And that's a blind spot monitoring system. The way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in a corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also as you're backing up, if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to put a light in the corner of the mirror from the side they're coming from. Also puts a message on the dash showing if they're coming from the left or the right in a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. And what's also great about this system, it's going to include your trailer. So if you have that trailer behind you, it's going to include the blind spot of that trailer too. So that's something that's new for 2018 and a lot of the Lincoln lineup. So I think you'll really appreciate that. And then you'll see too, it's power folded in right here. You do have the power fold mirrors or the auto fold mirrors. So when you lock the vehicle up, it's going to fold the mirror in just like it is right now.
Uh, also, we mentioned the, the power deployable run boards that it lowers those run boards as you approach the vehicle. You're going to see also the high gloss black finish on the side of those. It just uh, brings some of that luxury. You'll see some of that same accent at the lower part of the front bumpers and the back bumpers too. Uh, it just looks real sharp. Also, when the, you do open the doors, those, those run boards will lower a little bit lower than your, most of your run boards, making it a little bit easier for kids to get in and out of the vehicle. Also, when they're deployed, when they're full, tucked underneath, it's going to really kind of help protect the top of those run boards from snow, ice, whatever might collect on top of there. And then when you get in the vehicle and you shut the door, those mirrors will fold back out into place so you're ready to go on your drive, which I think you'll really like. Now, as you notice, when I put my hands in the door handle, I'll automatically unlock the vehicle. Because uh, as you approach the vehicle, it's not going to unlock it, but it will uh, welcome you to the vehicle. So by putting your hands in the door handle, it then unlocks the vehicle, allow you to get in and out of the vehicle. When you do get out, you can just press the ridges on any of the doors, and it's going to lock the vehicle and auto-fold those mirrors back into place like we saw earlier. Uh, it helps protect those from getting banged up from any kind of parking lots and such. Also, you're going to have keypad here on the pillar, and the benefit of that is if you want to leave the keys inside, uh, maybe you don't have pockets on you, um, and you can still access the vehicle using your own keypad, or maybe you don't have the keys on you but need to grab something out of the, the vehicle, you can use your own special code to get in and out of the vehicle that way. And this is also going to come standard with the remote start on your remote. If you want to remote, if you're in a close proximity, you can just pull that out, remote start the vehicle. Also, it's going to come with the Lincoln Connect. And the Lincoln Connect allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Lincoln Way app. And it's a free app that you can download. You can remote start your vehicle. You can schedule remote start times every day at a certain time. You can unlock and lock your vehicle. You can even locate your vehicle in those big stadium parking lots or uh, you're not sure exactly where you put it in that parking garage. You can help locate the vehicle as well that way. So a um, great system. Even comes with Wi-Fi hotspots for up to 10 devices. That allows you to have all the devices in the vehicle connected to your Wi-Fi hotspot, saving some data for your family as well and uh, there is some great $20 a month affordable plans that come with that after your introductory plan there so I think you'll all find that very nice convenient for you. Now to kind of finish off the uh, side of the vehicle you're going to see the nice chrome accents here in the belt line as well as here on the body color door handles uh, along the belt line here uh, as well and then your roof rack side rails up here are going to be chrome accented too so just give it that nice luxury look. Privacy glass here on these back windows uh, and the back glass just makes it cooler for everyone in the second and the third row. Now as we move around to the back, you're going to see the body colored rear spoiler up here. Also some nice high gloss black finish here on the sides of that. You're going to have your rear defrost with rear wiper back here. And this glass does pop separate from the rest of the lift gate. Uh, there's a button right under the eye, so you can just press that and it's going to release it, allow you to put those last items in there, especially if you have the regular length uh, navigator to be able to put those different items in there if you need to, or just want to do that instead of waiting on the, the lift gate to open up, uh, you can do that as well. And you'll see you don't have to slam it down either, so real nice. I love the accent here. It wraps, starts at the uh, driver's uh, window, wraps completely around, goes to the passenger front window as well, uh, so a continuation all the way around the vehicle. Nice chrome Lincoln lettering back here as well with the chrome accent right underneath there, and it sits on top of your LED tail lights as well as LED backup lights. So again, all LED lights in the vehicle. LEDs are so much brighter, they last longer, uh, so I think you'll appreciate that. Don't forget your rear view camera. In fact, we talked about the 360 degree camera already, so you're going to be able to see as you're backing up and the reverse sensing, so you're also going to get alerted if you get too close to anything. So you're really protected going front and back getting those sensors as well as being able to see completely around the vehicle. You're going to see a high gloss black finish under here uh, and it does have the cover for your tow package here. Now this does have the trailer tow prep package of standard equipment on all your Lincoln navigators and it's going to include your class 4 receiver hitch under there with 4 pin and 7 pin wiring capabilities, uh, trailer sway control as well. Uh, you're also going to have that smart tow connector and it's going to come with your transmission oil cooler. So uh, great ways. It's going to have the best towing capabilities of any vehicle in its class. I think we're up to 8,900 pounds uh, capable of towing with this vehicle, so I think you'll appreciate that. The rear end is a limited slip 373 that's standard equipment on these as well, uh, just for your reference there. Now this does have your power lift gate. You can use the, click the button underneath the L if you want to. You can use your remote too, or you can use your foot. It does have the foot activated uh, lift gates there. So we'll just give it a kick here and show you how that works. And as you'll notice it does have the tow package but you don't have to worry about that I just kicked it in the middle and it still uh, raised that lift gate so a great way to, to open it up and you'll notice it was delayed just a little bit so give it a kick 
back up, it will open up for you. So I like that. Now here in the back, this is two different lengths. You have the regular length and you have your L. And that L is that extended length. And this is where you're gonna see the difference between those two back here is how much cargo room do you need? Uh, so if you need more cargo room uh, most of the time, make sure you get that L. Uh, if you just need it for those trips, don't forget you do have the roof rack as well on this. And uh, so that's gonna come with uh, the vehicle. So you can always tie some things, the luggage down. So if you don't need it very often, you might think about staying with that regular length if you want to. Now, also you'll see this, we do have the front tag bracket here. It is standard equipment to get a front tag bracket on any state that requires a front tag. Kansas does not, but we, uh, you can still get them as optional equipment and it's going to be free of charge, uh, no charge. And we do get those because we do sell a lot of Lincoln Navigators outside of our state. Uh, every vehicle we've had sold, in fact, uh, more than half of them have been outside of our market area. So now under here, you are going to see the cargo uh, management system. So you can lift this up. And what I, gr what I like about it is you can lift it up and it stays there. It doesn't fall down on you. Uh, and in here, you can left side, you have some area to put some thing, different things in there. Uh, and uh, they do have the cargo netting in here. Uh, what's great about the cargo netting is you can uh, kick these hooks down here on the sides as well as the loops. You can just put that cargo net back there and it's going to keep those little things contained in the vehicle so they won't fall roll around on you. Uh, also there's a compartment over here and that's where I typically will keep uh, the cargo netting back there over there uh, out of the way so that way you have all this cargo area down in here. And then on the right side is where you're going to see your jack. It's located right there so you don't have to get it from underneath or anything. It's located right there for you too so I think you'll appreciate that. Uh, now this does have your power fold third row seat, 60-40 split bench seat. Uh, now this does have rear independent suspension so the benefit of that is it's going to give you a great ride but it's also going to allow you to fold those seats flat into the floor and give those in the third row even more leg room as well. So let's show you how that works. Uh, we can do the left, right or both and we're going to go ahead and do both of those and you'll see as you uh, press that button and you fold it down, those headrests will automatically fold down for you. So you don't have to pull any levers or straps anymore to be able to fold those down. So flat load level in here, as you can see, completely flat so you can get those items in there. And from up here, we can also lay these the second row seats down too. So I can just press the button for left or right or both, just like I'm going to do. And it's going to fold those flat. Don't have to worry about armrests or headrests or anything. It's going to lay those down. So if you have that big uh, sheet of plywood, if you have the L, it's going to be able to fit in here. Now, when you get inside the vehicle, this is where you're going to really feel luxurious in here. So uh, lots of luxury in here. And let me talk about the three different color interiors you can get with the select trim. Uh, first one you can get is an ebony. And you're going to have an ebony environment, which means your doors, your top of your dash, your seats are going to also be in that ebony color. And then with that one, you're going to have that rosewood, San, uh, Santos rosewood appliques uh, on it. Now, you can also get the cappuccino interior, which is going to give you that, that tan interior on your, your dash, across uh, on your doors. Also, your seats are going to be that cappuccino interior. And you're going to have that express, espresso ash swirl appliques in there. Or you can get like you're seeing with this vehicle, which is the gray environment. That dark slate is what they call that. And you're going to see it's going to be gray interior as well as your seats. They call it slate uh, for your seating surfaces. And then you're going to have a little bit different uh, dash. It's going to be a gray uh, ash swirl accent. When I talk about the different appliques in it and the accents, it's going to, uh, you're going to see that in your doors, uh, door trims, all your door trims, as well as across the dash. So you're going to see it on the left as well as behind that screen. Uh, going across your dash too and then you're going to see it here on the console uh, for the front console. So I think you're going to like that the different accents and different interior options for you that are available. Of course leather seating surfaces throughout the vehicle and these uh, front seats here are going to have a dual 10-way power seats up here. You're going to have driver memory uh, for three different drivers uh, for that seat. Heated seats for the driver and front passenger as well. Uh, the second row seat, lots of uh, luxury features there. You're going to have going to come standard with your bucket seat with the pass-through. Heated seats for those two outside seats as well as standard equipment. Uh, and also behind that console, you're going to have some audio controls, climate controls there too for the, for the rear climate people. Also, you're going to have behind that console two USB ports, also a PowerPoint and a 110 outlet. So plenty of ways to power any devices for those in the second row. Third row seat back there also has some nice luxury features. It seats three back there in the third row seat. Does have power uh, recline buttons for the left and that right seat. And then you're going to have a smart USB port jack for each, on each side of that those seats as well. So plenty of ways to stay connected for everyone in the vehicle. Now here up here on the door you have your power windows, locks, mirror switches including auto one touch for those windows. 
Uh, so you're going to have that driver memory uh, is going to control your seat, your mirror, your power adjustable pedals. It's going to bring those pedals forward and back, and your power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So electronically, to go up and down, forward and back as well. And so that driver memory is going to control all those. And this does have the easy entry and exit seat uh, too. So when you get in the vehicle, just like you're seeing with, with it right now, the seat is back and the steering wheel is up out of the way, making it easier for everyone to get in the vehicle. And then when you hit that push button, start to start it, the steering wheel and the seat. All the uh, configurations are going to be changed to the last person that drove the vehicle. If you don't happen to be that person, just hit your button and that's going to adjust everything on the fly. Now here on the steering wheel, leather wrap steering wheel, love the stitching on that by the way. Heated steering wheel is standard equipment on your select. And then on the left side of the steering wheel, you're going to have your cruise control. On the right side, you're going to have those Bluetooth controls, including your navigation controls right there as well. Those paddle shifters are right behind the steering wheel. And then look at the nice screen up here. You do have a 12 inch LCD uh, screen, productivity screen that is configurable as well. Uh, just a gorgeous screen and 12 inches. It's just a lot of things you can do there. And just, I think you're gonna really love the display aspect uh, there on the, the instrument cluster there. Now here on the console, uh, just a great equipment here and great configuration. Uh, talk about the console as we move through here. You do have your Lincoln Drive controls that you can change from the different modes uh, that excite, uh, that conserve, different uh, drive modes that are available for you to be able to sh uh, change through those Lincoln Drive controls. Also, uh, it's going to have your auto start stop technology. Uh, this and when you come up to stoplight stop sign, automatically when you press that brake, it's going to shut the vehicle off help you can uh, save on fuel. If you want to deactivate that, you just hit the button right there at really nice and easy. Also has an auto hold button, so if you are at that stoplight for a long period of time, you can hit that button. It's going to hold that brake for you, and then you can deactivate your rear uh, park assist by hitting that button there too. Also, you're going to see just to the left there, you can open that up, and you're going to see two USB ports in here to be able to plug those smartphones in. Or if you have a wireless charging phone, you can put it in there and it's going to wireless charge your phone. Real nice and easy right in there. And it's real nice and easy to get to that way as well right there. And then you're going to see your cup holders on the right side. That's going to have ambient lighting. It's going to light up those cup holders, the footwells, and the door compartments on different lighting uh, configurations as well uh, right there. And I like the climate control how it looks when you have the vehicle turned off. You can't see any of the words or the emblems. Nice clean look to the vehicle. But when you hit that push button start to start, it's going to use LED backlighting to light up all those words, emblems, uh, nice vibrant colors there. Uh, and that way also you don't have to worry about them wearing off over time because those words aren't written on those buttons there, uh, which is something that I really find as a great benefit to the vehicle. So dual zone auto climate control so the driver and front passenger up here can have two different temperatures. You're also going to see it does have your push button start up here as well as the push button shift. And I love it is the piano style keys here. So you're going to see that the the park and the neutral are a smooth button, whereas that reverse and the drive are ridged. So you can tell the difference between those without having to look over there. And then up there, you're going to see the 10 inch screen here, the nice LCD screen. Uh, what's great about that is it does have the My Ford or the Sync 3 system, I should say, that third generation voice enhanced recognition system where you can control your audio. You can also control your uh, phone and your navigation through this touch screen uh, system here. What's great about that is the navigation has that new pinch and zoom capabilities. Also comes with Sirius XM traffic and travel link. Uh, also it's going to have 14 speaker audio sound system, that Revel audio sound system in here. So great sound, HD radio as well. Uh, some great features and then of course that's where you're going to see that, that backup camera which we've already showed you a little glimpse of that earlier uh, is going to come up on that screen as well. So big 10 inch screen there. Also personal profiles. A lot of people forget to talk about that but on all your Lincoln vehicles, even the Premier, you can set up Lincoln those, those personal profiles that is going to know when you get in a vehicle by that remote that you have and you get in the vehicle. Not only is it going to control the seats, the mirrors, and the steering wheel and the, the pedals, it's also going to control your audio preferences as well as your climate preferences and your Lincoln Drive can drive mode preferences as well that's going to be included with those personal profiles. That's just something that we haven't had seen that on any of the Lincoln vehicles that's going to be available on this Lincoln Navigator standard equipment. So I think you'll like that. Up here on the mirror, you do have an auto dimming rear view mirror. And you can see it's a full glass. goes clear across there on there. So uh, that's going to be uh, also just a real nice look to it too. A uh, nice luxury look, I think. Up here on the the, the mirror, or the visor, I should say, is going to be your garage door openers for up to three different garage doors up here. Uh, and so just great equipment throughout the vehicle. And I think there's like 
I think I counted 11 or 12 cup holders throughout the vehicle. There's two in the, each of the two front doors, two up here. Um, back in the back, there's one on each of the doors as well as three for the third row back there. So plenty of ways to put different uh, beverages in there. And I love the look up here too. I love this kind of a floating console here where you can have plenty of storage underneath there and even comes completely through. So there's a gap here. So you can put probably a briefcase in there, big purse in there as well. Uh, so it's not on the floor getting wet. And don't forget, you're going to have the carpeted mats, the standard equipment for the footwells up here, as well as the footwells for the second row too. So all this, everything I've talked about so far is standard equipment on all your select trim Lincoln Navigators. Let's talk about some different packages now. The first package I want to talk about is the technology package. Probably the most expensive package uh, of the Lincoln packages, but it is a lot of nice safety as well as convenience features within this package. Uh, the first uh, feature that's part of this package is I'm going to talk about is your lane keeping system. Now this is an alert system. It will alert you if you take your hands off the steering wheel or if you're trying to leave your lane, but also will aid you in staying in your lane as well. So a lot of those systems that you see in some other vehicles uh, don't always allow you to stay in there. So I think you really like that. Also, you have your adaptive cruise control. What that's going to do is it's going to control the gap of the distance of, of the car in front of you. So if you, you're coming up behind somebody going faster than them, it'll automatically slow you down to go their speed uh, until you pass them or they speed back up and it's free to resume and then it'll go ahead and speed up. So you don't have to use your brakes uh, nearly so much with this system. I love the adaptive cruise control. I think it works great. Also, you have your pre-collision with pedestrian detection, your, and it has an autonomous emergency braking system that goes along with that. So it really is a great way to prevent any kind of accident. So maybe when you, this might be a, something in town you see when you don't have your crew set. If there's a car in front of you that's stopped or going much slower than you and you're not going too fast, it's going to alert you with a series of lights and tones. Uh, lights on the dash and some tones uh, that the car in front of you is stopped. It'll also start initiating that brake. Uh, also detects those pedestrians too. So it's a great uh, emergency avoidance or accident avoidance system there that I think you'll really appreciate. Also, you have the active park assist, and this is the new auto park system. So it has the parallel parking, reverse per perpendicular parking, and your park out. So I do have a video on our YouTube channel. This system came out over a year ago on the Edge and the MKX. It's a great system. I have a video on outside as well as an inside perspective of what that looks like. I'll try to remember to put the link up here in the video as well as down in the description. So check that out if you have a chance uh, to watch that video and how that system works. Also, you get the auto high beams. And the auto high beams is a great system. It's a lot like your automatic headlights. It's going to turn those auto high beams on when you're on a dark street or a dark alley. Even, a, even there in town, it'll turn those on. And if it, it, it senses a light coming in front of you or, or street lights, it's going to automatically dim them for you. So that's a great system. And this, just like the, the rain sensing wipers, is something you can activate and deactivate in the settings just by unchecking the box for that system if you don't like that system. Also, a new for Lincoln in 2018 is your heads-up display. And I love the heads-up display on these because it includes all the navigation, your, active, your, your adaptive cruise control and everything in the different settings. You can customize the heads-up display, what's included in that. Uh, and it's just a, a great system to be all included with this. And what's great about this is it doesn't look like it's on the dash. It looks like it's out here on the hood, which is a perfect place for that. And you can even customize where that's located. You can go up and down, left and right in there and locate just exactly where you want that uh, heads up display to be located. So this is a great system. It is one of the most expensive packages, but it includes a lot of nice safety and convenience features. Let's talk about towing for a second. This package here is called the Heavy Duty Trailer Tow Package. Uh, this package is if you want that maximum amount of trailer towing and some of the conveniences that go along with it. Actually, it doesn't really enhance the trailer towing, but kind of helps your vehicle out because it's going to include a heavy duty a tra or heavy duty radiator, I should say, to help manage any of those heavy trailers, especially if you're pulling that trailer for a long period of time, that's going to come in handy. It's also going to give you trailer brake controller inside, uh, helping you be able to control that different trailer, and we're assuming it's going to be a pretty heavy trailer that you're needing to control, as well as the pro trailer trailer backup assist, uh, which is a really nice feature to have because you're controlling the trailer itself instead of trying to figure out if you should turn left or right as you're backing up that trailer. So it really helps you back up those trailers nice and smooth uh, for you. So I think you really appreciate uh, all the features within this package. The other uh, package I want to talk about is the cargo package. Now the cargo package is going to include a couple of features. One of those is going to be the crossbars on your roof rack. So it's going to help manage any kind of cargo you might have, especially if you have a regular length 
Uh, I mentioned that earlier, been able to put that luggage up there. Uh, it comes with this crossbars. Also, it's going to come with a uh, tiered system, a tiered management system. It's a four-way configurable shelf uh, that can, you can manipulate and move in different places. You see this in the past in the navigators on just your L's, but it's also uh, mentions it's included with the regular link too. So a uh, great way to really manage your cargo area. And if you're wanting that, that four-way uh, partition, uh, this package is a great package for you to go ahead and include. Let's talk about standalone options now. Uh, one of the first one I want to talk about is your power twin panel moonroof. Now this is actually standard equipment on your L's, uh, but it's optional for your regular length uh, navigators. Uh, so a twin panel moonroof is going to come with the power sunshade. Uh, it's a great option for people that really love being able to, uh, to open that up and even those in the second row can enjoy that. Also, your CD player. CD player is optional equipment, it's not standard. Uh, if I mention that, then I'm sure I'll, I corrected the there in the video, but CD player is an optional equipment and that is gonna be positioned in that front console as well. So uh, a great little uh, system if you wanna add up, add the CD player. A lot of people don't really play CDs anymore with the different Bluetooth devices and with the different ways you can stream music uh, with this uh, Sync 3 system now. Uh, a lot of people don't have that. That's why it's not included as standard equipment. Also, different seating configuration up here for the driver and front passenger. You can get a 30-way perfect position seat. We've seen that on, on the Continental. It's also available on your reserve. Uh, that's going to be great. It's going to have your individual thigh extenders. It's going to have a, an extra back uh, position, a recline for you. Even has the power headrest. So you can go up and down, forward, back and it's going to come with the massaging seat feature. So a great feature for the, person, the driver and front passenger if you want to add that to the vehicle. It's probably one of the most popular standalone options and it's added to a lot of these vehicles. Now for the second row, the seating configuration back there, optional equipment is your 40-20-40 split bench seat. So if you want to be able to seat eight in the vehicle, you want to go with that seating configuration as optional equipment. Uh, I believe there's no charge for that, but I'll have that price on the screen if there is a charge for it. Uh, so that's a great way to be able to uh, seat uh, more people. You're still going to have the, the tip and slide uh, for these outside seats with that, and they're also going to still have heated seats too. Uh, if you're looking for a console, you'll need to go to reserve for a second row console, by the way. And then let's talk about the Lincoln Play. The Lincoln Play is your rear entertainment system. It's new uh, for the Lincoln lineup. Uh, so great system there. Those, those screens that just sit on there, uh, they're not embedded into the headrest, but they actually attach to it. Uh, just a great system there. They actually can adjust a little bit too. Uh, you can plug in USB thumb drives. Uh, SD cards can be plugged in there. You can also stream through the the different uh, system there uh, within the vehicle. Uh, you can even go to the Lincoln Way app and kind of program some of the shows that you want to watch into that system so that you can play those as well. So great ways to stream music, uh, videos, different things, and those are two different play two different systems. So you can actually watch something on each one individually uh, or they can sync together uh, and then also they're gonna come with two sets of wireless headphones too. Now there is also on the outside of the vehicle, there is a one option that's available too, and that is a different wheel. So you can upgrade from the 22 inch uh, wheels that you're seeing here, this dark tarnish wheel, to a 22 inch bright machine aluminum wheel. So a little bit different design for you, uh, and, uh, but you can upgrade to that wheel as well if you want to. Uh, both of uh, those are a 22 inch wheel, so they're gonna look really great on your Lincoln Navigator. So that's all of our standard as well as option equipment for that select trim of the 2018 Lincoln Navigator. Let's talk about warranties for a second. All your Lincoln Navigators will have a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty with a six-year, 70,000-mile powertrain warranty. So that's a great warranty that comes with the vehicle. Uh, you're going to be covered for a long time with that. Also, for four years and 50,000 miles, you're going to have pickup and delivery. And what that means is if you live within 30 miles of a Lincoln dealership, they'll pick your Lincoln vehicle up for service. Leave you a Lincoln loaner for the day. They'll service your vehicle, they'll clean it inside and out, and they'll bring it back to you. So you can schedule it up ahead of time using a Lincoln Way app if you want, or you can just call the Lincoln concierge at the dealership to set that up. If you don't happen to live within 30 miles or you'd rather drive your vehicle in, you need to run some errands, not a problem. You still get the benefit of that Lincoln loaner as well as a Lincoln clean. So just drop your vehicle off, take our vehicle, uh, go do your shopping, whatever it might be, go to lunch. Uh, when it's ready, we'll let you know. You come back, pick it up, cleaned, serviced, and ready to go. So I think you really appreciate on that service right there is a great benefit to all your Lincoln vehicles. Now do check out our Lincoln website, LawMacArthurLincoln.com. There in each one of our vehicles, you can check for availability, schedule a test drive. You can see pictures, as well as you can pull up the original window stickers on all of our in-stock, as well as 
on order vehicles. So you can see what's available there, what equipment it has on it, what standards, well as what's optional. If you'd like to order a vehicle uh, specifically or a certain equipment you're looking for, uh, you can give us a call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031. We can help you out with that. Uh, so we are selling a lot of these navigators uh, just on ordered units. This is Actually, this was ordered for someone else. Um, they got it in. Uh, they wanted a little more equipment, so they're, we're ordering them a, a, a reserve instead. Uh, so if you're looking, very few in-stock vehicles, uh, but this one is available right now, but also we can order one for you. We have allocations set up that we can go ahead and, and order a vehicle. It's, right now, it's been about eight weeks uh, to get a, the Lincoln Navigators because of the demand, uh, but do uh, check that out, and it's very available for you. So again, don't forget you can call or send us a text message if you have any questions. Also, if you're watching this video on our YouTube channel, special benefit for you, we'll do free shipping if you just tell us you saw this vehicle, this video on our YouTube channel, and you're going to get that free shipping as long as you finance a vehicle uh, with us. You don't have to finance through Lincoln if you don't want to. You can finance it through any of our lenders. Uh, we do uh, business with uh, several national lenders, so you'll have uh, plenty to choose from there, uh, and we just ask that you do that because the lender does give us a kickback uh, for having that, that finance with them, and that'll cover that cost for the free shipping for you. So you're going to notice also we give you some great prices if you look at our online pricing for all of our uh, Lincoln vehicles, so do uh, think it'll be easy for you as well. And we can do all the paperwork by FedEx, email, uh, and you don't even have to leave your house, so that's a great way to buy a Lincoln vehicle anymore, and I think you can really appreciate that. So definitely take advantage of that. Also, if you haven't had a chance yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, and hit that notification bell. That way you can get notified when we have a new video uploaded to our channel. Also, don't forget, hit that thumbs up button, let people know you like this video, and put your comments down below. If you have any questions whatsoever, please put those down below. I will respond to those. I'm very diligent about doing those. So if you have any questions about anything in this video, please put those down below. I will answer those. And again, thank you for watching this video, and I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you get a Lincoln Navigator soon.